I want to jump right into production schedule now. We've created project schedule. Um, I actually have a couple other projects in here with schedules, but we created this project schedule. We've put in tasks and sequences, and just by entering dates and entering estimated hours, which we did here, and then assigning resources to those, we've already got a, pro a production schedule created just from doing this on the project schedule. So let me show you that. If I go up here to the project schedule drop down, you'll see a production schedule option. When I do that, it's going to filter for this job. I could filter for certain resources if I wanted to. We'll go ahead and apply filter here. And now I can see that the production schedule is going to be based off of each resource. And then under that resource are the jobs that I have scheduled for that, and then the task, and then the, the breakdown items or the sequences as well. If I move out, you see week by week. So for instance, if I come out here, you can see that fabrication for the week of July 17th, I've got 1,400 hours of capacity in my, in my shop, but I've got 1,440 hours planned, which puts me at 103% capacity. 1,100 uh, 1100 of those 1440 hours was coming from this one job this 001 job so this isn't really telling me the whole story i want to see all projects on my production schedule so let me show you how to do that i could come here to set filters and just say change this filter so i'm seeing all, all projects but i'll show you another way to do that as well I'd like to show you multiple ways to do things here so let's go maintenance we'll go project management and then you'll see production schedule here as well. So you can access the production schedule here rather than going into a project. And here I have, um, by default, it's just going to say, give me all projects and all resources, which I'll do. So I'm going to apply filter. I'm going to collapse this to start with. You can see we've got detailing, fabrication, and shipping. If I open those up, you can see the jobs that apply to each one of those resources. And then if I open that up even further, then you're going to see the tasks. And then, of course, we got the sequences. So I can drill down as much as I want to. Let me go out here, though, and let's look at, the, look at my one week where we're over capacity here. So we're 1,400 hours capacity, 1,440 hours planned, 103% capacity. So we saw 1,100 of that was coming from this 001 job. Then we've got another some um, 100 hours coming from that 002 job, and we've got 240 hours from this 003. Now you'll notice these hours here are not over here in this column. The reason is because these 240 hours, this entire job is released right now. So if I follow this up, you'll see this is under this released column. So this can be a little bit confusing here. This capacity has to do with 120 hours of capacity detailing, 1,400 fabrication, 120 shipping. Planned is 40 hours planned here, 1,440 here, 16 here. So this released is, I've got 240 hours released, which makes a big difference when you start looking at the um, your production schedule. I may have 1,440 hours planned, but it doesn't mean anything if it's not released yet. So it's good that it shows me whether it's released or not. And that's, that's just coming from linking up to production control and it figuring out um, wh what all is released and what is not. Um, but 1,100 hours here, 100, 100 here. So let's say I want to level this out. I could go back to the project schedule if I wanted to and start moving dates around to make to level this out a little bit. And I actually want to think I want to pull some of these hours up into this week since I have a little bit of capacity here. Um, so... If I want to pull some of these hours up, I could go back to the project schedule and change those dates, but we can do that here as well. So what I want to do, I want to open this up a little bit and go down to this, and it's my sequence one that is the culprit here. If I if I think I can pull this up and maybe do the detail earlier, I'm going to double click on that field there, and that shows me right here. This one week I'm over capacity, but the week before... I've got plenty of capacity, so why don't I pull some of that up? So since I've got that week selected, I'm going to manually schedule that. And let's say I'm going to try to pull up 500 hours into that week. And I'm going to say OK. So now instead of 1,100 hours in this week, I've got 500 here, 600 here. So just by putting 500 there, it reduced these hours to um, what the difference was there. So now if I go back over here, 
I've leveled this out a little bit that in my in my I'm gonna work my guys to death at, um, if, in that particular week. Now I can manipulate this a little bit more too if I wanted to in a couple different ways. If I double click on that, I can take this right here and I can move that up back a day, up a day, back a week, up a week. So if I move it back a week, move the tax one week earlier on the production schedule. Notice it's on the production schedule. It doesn't affect the dates on the project schedule, by the way. So if I was going to push this out, I'd certainly want to talk and make sure everybody knows that that's going to push out and not affect, and, and it might affect the ship dates. So if I want to push this out, <clears throat> I'm probably going to go back to the project schedule and do it not on the production schedule. So let's say, yeah, I do want to move this one week early, and you'll see all of those just shifted back. So, of course, that's not going to work with what I got going on here. So I'm going to push that back up here, move it up one week. Yep. So I'll push it back where it was. But you can manipulate it that way as well. I could change and put a little bit of hours up in all three or four weeks in front of it if I wanted to. But you can manipulate this all, all that you want in order to level those hours out as well. Now, one other thing that, I, that I've gotten asked quite a bit here is we just viewed all production, all jobs on the production schedule. And I've been asked multiple times, how do I view all jobs on the project schedule? So when you go to project management and then you go to project schedule here, there's a button down here for that. So when I hit that, it says, okay, cool. What projects do you want to see? So I'm just going to move everything over, say, okay. And now I can see all projects on my schedule to, uh, um, in one shot. I can also manipulate these all I want as well. So I can hit enter edit mode. I have the same fields in here that I can change if I wanted to. I could come down here and add all of the actual quantity, actual weight, act, re released hours, everything on there that like I had on the other schedule. Um, and I can expand these out and change these as needed as well. If I needed to push these, push these hours out, I could push them out or pull them forward or whatever I need to do there. So this is just a way to see all projects on here. So if you go into a production meeting, pull this up, put all jobs on there, you're able to adjust as needed for all projects. And you have all your buttons down here too for schedule tasks, project breakdown. You can manipulate the schedule all you want, just like you could if you were on the individual schedule. Hope this helps. Let me know if you got questions.